Hey, it's Flavio here from Self Starters, and welcome to the very first email as part of the series on how you can grow and scale your digital business. Now, today uh, I'm going to share with you tactic number one, the very first video. And in specific, I want to share with you how you can set uh, achievable objectives for your business, whether it's on your own or with your team, and how you can work together to achieve them. So, without any further ado, I'm going to keep this quick and simple. Um, stay tuned. And let's get started. So welcome back. Uh, this, this is the beginning of um, the eight part series. And as I said, today's video is all about sharing with you the objectives, how you can set objectives and how you can all together as part of your team go into the same village. So my objective for this video is to share the very first step with you. So why do we need to set objectives? Now, number one is that it actually gives us a good focus. Imagine a time where you've gone into the office or you start, you opened your laptop, you started working without actually knowing what you're working on. Now you open your emails, a Facebook message comes in, a text message comes in, someone starts a conversation with you, you do the coffee. Um, if you're working from home, you start doing the washing, uh, you start doing everything else except for the one thing that you really need to be doing. So we want to clearly establish what we want to focus on so that we can put our um, energy into that core focus. Now that we know why we're setting objectives, let's get into how we can set objectives. The first thing we want to focus on is clarifying the intent. So as previously mentioned, we want to focus on one thing. But what I want you to write down now is actually what is the intent? Like what are you looking to set out to achieve? So if you have a think about your business, what's currently working, what's not working, what could be working better, I want you to write down the one thing that you're going to work on over the next few weeks. Whether it's lead generation, maybe it is um, closing more leads or closing more sales, getting more acquisition to your website, um, perhaps it's reaching out to more people, having more sales calls. What is the one thing that you're looking to achieve? And please pause the video very quickly now and write that down. Awesome, okay, so you've written down your intent. How do we know we're actually tracking for our goal? We're, we're smashing our goal. And how do we know we're, we're going underneath our goal or we're, we're um, subpiring our goal? So uh, what I want you to write down is how do you actually know that you have achieved what you set out to do? Really quickly have a think about um, numbers you can put in place, perhaps a percentage of increase in leads, or perhaps it's just a number increase. So have a think about these numbers, these metrics, write them down and pause the video. Awesome. So now that you have your intent and you know how to measure it, next thing we want to set out is the time frame. So how long do we give ourselves to achieve this objective or this goal? Most of the clients that I work with, we set out or most goals are achievable within a 90 day period or like a three months period. Okay. So once you've thought about the, the time frame, now you want to have a look at the actions. So we have got our goal. We know the time frame to achieve our goal. Now we want to understand what are the single steps that we need to execute on in order to achieve that goal. So once you've written down your actions, the action points to get you there, we want to break it down into smaller achievable tasks or smaller tasks that we can complete on a weekly basis, uh, maybe even on a daily basis that allow us to fulfill these larger action steps that in turn allow us to go and uh, work towards our intent. So let's go through an example together. So if I wanted to increase my leads for my business, um, that would be my intent. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to measure my intent or be able to benchmark my intent compared to what I'm doing now. So if my leads are currently sitting around 20 per week, what I want to do is I want to increase them to 30 per week. So by month three, I want to make sure that I, um, on a continuous basis, get an extra 30% of leads every single week. Now, I've got my intent and I know how to measure whether I'm successful or not. Third thing you want to do is put together a time frame. So how long do you give yourself to achieve this? My one is 90 days. So we've got leads, we know how to measure it, we've got 90 days to do it. Next thing we want to figure out is what are the, what are the things we need to do 
in order to achieve our intent of creating 30% more leads. Um, quite simple. So perhaps we want to um, increase website visitors, right? That's one of the action points. And we can do that with um, paid advertising. Perhaps we want to put some more money into social advertising, Google AdWords. Uh, perhaps we want to focus more on SEO, content creation. Um, these are just some small action steps you can do. But um, also have a think about wider, right? We could look at completely different channels. We could look at partnership channels. We could look at um, public relations. We could look at creating events, having roadshows. What are the things, what are the activities that you want to focus on in order to achieve your goal or your intent? Now, once you know the action steps um, and you can break them down into a, depending on your time frame, you can break them down into a weekly, um, a, a weekly task or you can break them down into a daily task next thing we want to do and this is what i'm going to show you in the next video we sort of we've completed the objectives uh, we now have got an intent we, have, we know how to measure whether we're doing good or bad we have got a time frame that we've set ourselves to make sure we don't get off course and um, lastly we've got some key action steps to help us achieve that uh, intent now in the next video in technique number two what I want to show you is how you can create personas and how you can segment your market. Now, this is key if you want to have an additional focus and can find some specific tactics to help you achieve that growth that you set out. So that is for me today. I will see you in the next video and make sure you write down your objectives. See you next time.